Hello everyone, and welcome back to my chan. And today, we're diving deep into a topic that's absolutely essential for any savvy investor, mastering investment diversification. Now, you might have heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, and that's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. We'll discuss why diversification is not just a buzzword, but a strategic approach that can significantly impact your investment journey. In today's fast-paced and ever-changing financial landscape, having a solid understanding of diversification can be the key to safeguarding your hard-earned money and maximizing your returns. We're going to cover the ins and outs of diversification, from its core principles to the strategies you can use to build a well-rounded, resilient investment portfolio. So, if you've ever wondered why some investors seem to weather market storms better than others, or how to navigate the complex world of asset classes and sectors, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear grasp of why diversification matters, the impact it can have on your investments, and actionable strategies for crafting a diverse portfolio that aligns with your financial goals. But before we delve in, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our valuable insights on investment, finance, and wealth building. Okay, let's jump right in and explore the world of investment diversification. Let's start by getting a clear understanding of what diversification really means in the context of investing. Diversification is like the safety net of your investment strategy. It's the practice of spreading your investments across a variety of different assets rather than putting all your money into just one or a few. Why is this so important? Well, think of it as not putting all your financial hopes on a single roll of the dice. When you diversify your portfolio, you're essentially reducing the impact of a poor-performing investment on your overall financial health. It's a smart way to manage risk. Let's face it, the financial markets can be quite unpredictable, and no matter how well you research and analyze, there's always a degree of uncertainty. By diversifying, you can help protect your investments from the unavoidable ups and downs that the market throws your way. Imagine you have a basket, and each egg in that basket represents a different type of investment. If one egg breaks, i.e., one investment performs poorly, you still have other eggs that are intact, i.e., other investments that are performing well. This way, you're not overly reliant on any single investment to achieve your financial goals. To put it simply, diversification is your way of avoiding putting all your financial eggs in one basket. It's a strategy that can help you sleep better at night knowing that your investments are spread out and not overly concentrated in any single area. As we move through this video, We'll delve deeper into why diversification is crucial and how you can implement it effectively in your own investment journey. Now that we have a solid grasp of what diversification is, let's dive into why it's so critically important for your investment success. Picture this, you've invested a significant portion of your money into a single stock that's been performing well for a while. You're feeling confident and optimistic about its future. But suddenly, unforeseen events hit, the stock's value plummets, and you're left with substantial losses. This is where the concept of putting all your eggs in one basket comes into play. Undiversified portfolios are more vulnerable to these kinds of shocks. The truth is, even the most promising investments can experience downturns due to market volatility, industry shifts, or economic changes. Diversification helps mitigate these risks by spreading your investments across different asset classes, industries, and sectors. History has shown us the perils of failing to diversify. We've witnessed market crashes that wiped out fortunes overnight, leaving investors who were heavily invested in a single asset class devastated. On the other hand, diversified portfolios tend to weather market storms more gracefully. They're better equipped to absorb losses in one area because gains in other areas help offset those losses. Diversification also has a positive impact on your overall returns. While it might not lead to skyrocketing gains in the short term, it can provide a smoother and more consistent growth trajectory over time. By reducing the extreme highs and lows that can come with a concentrated portfolio, 
diversification allows you to stay on course with your financial goals. So, when it comes to investment success, remember that diversification isn't just a nice-to-have, it's a must-have. It's a strategic approach that can significantly improve your chances of achieving long-term financial stability and growth. In the next sections, we'll delve deeper into how you can put the power of diversification to work in your portfolio. Moving forward, let's explore the practical side of diversification and how you can build a well-rounded investment portfolio that stands strong in various market conditions. The cornerstone of a diversified portfolio is what's known as asset allocation. This simply means spreading your investments across different types of assets, such as stocks, bonds, and even alternative investments like real estate or commodities. Each asset class has its own risk and return characteristics. Stocks, for example, have the potential for high returns but also come with higher volatility. Bonds, on the other hand, tend to be more stable but offer lower potential returns. By combining these asset classes, you create a balance that helps manage risk while aiming for a reasonable level of growth. The balance between risk and return is what's often referred to as the risk-return trade-off. This is a fundamental concept in investing. The idea is that you can't expect high returns without taking on a certain level of risk. Diversification helps you strike the right balance by allowing you to tailor your portfolio to your individual risk tolerance and financial goals. Consider this scenario, if you're a young investor with a longer time horizon, you might be comfortable taking on more risk in pursuit of potentially higher returns. On the other hand, if you're approaching retirement, you might prioritize stability and income, which could lead to a more conservative asset allocation. As you build your portfolio, it's important to remember that diversification isn't just about asset classes. It's also about diversifying within each asset class. For instance, within the stock market, you could diversify across different industries, sizes of companies, small cap, mid cap, large cap, and even geographically by investing in both domestic and international stocks. By crafting a diversified investment portfolio that aligns with your risk tolerance and financial goals, you're setting yourself up for a smoother investment journey, one that can better weather market fluctuations and provide you with a sense of financial security. In the next section, we'll delve into specific strategies that you can employ to enhance your diversification efforts. Now that we've covered the fundamentals of building a diverse investment portfolio, Let's explore some actionable strategies that can take your diversification game to the next level. Beyond spreading your investments across different asset classes, there are a couple of key techniques you can implement to enhance your diversification strategy. The first technique is sector diversification. This involves investing in a variety of industries within a particular asset class. By doing so, you reduce the risk associated with being heavily concentrated in a single sector. For example, if you're investing in the stock market, you might consider allocating funds to sectors like technology, healthcare, finance, and consumer goods. This way, even if one sector experiences a downturn, your overall portfolio won't be as severely affected. Geographic diversification is another powerful strategy. It involves investing in different regions or countries around the world. Different economies go through different cycles and geopolitical events can impact markets differently. By diversifying across various geographic regions, you're reducing the risk of your portfolio being too heavily influenced by the economic conditions of a single country. Another consideration is the choice between active and passive investment strategies. Active strategies involve actively selecting individual investments based on research and analysis. Passive strategies, on the other hand, involve investing in index funds or ETFs that replicate a particular market index. Both approaches have their merits. Active strategies can provide potential for higher returns if successful, while passive strategies offer broad market exposure at a lower cost. Ultimately, the key is to strike a balance that aligns with your investment goals and preferences. Remember that diversification isn't a one-time task. It requires ongoing monitoring and adjustments as market conditions change. 
By employing these diversification strategies and staying vigilant, you can create a portfolio that's well-equipped to navigate various market scenarios. As you've learned, building a diversified portfolio is a dynamic process that doesn't end once you've selected your investments. One critical aspect of maintaining a well-diversified portfolio is the practice of regular rebalancing. Rebalancing ensures that your portfolio stays aligned with your original asset allocation and risk tolerance, even as market conditions change. Think of your portfolio as a garden that requires consistent care to flourish. Over time, some investments may outperform others, causing your portfolio's allocation to shift. Rebalancing involves periodically selling a portion of your investments that have become overweight and reinvesting in those that have become underweight. This helps you maintain your desired asset allocation and risk profile. The frequency of rebalancing can vary based on your preferences and market conditions. Some investors rebalance annually, while others do so quarterly. It's important to strike a balance between staying on track with your target allocation and avoiding unnecessary trading fees or taxes. To determine when to rebalance, set specific thresholds. For example, you might decide to rebalance if any asset class deviates more than 5% from its target allocation. This way, you're not making constant adjustments, but you're also preventing your portfolio from drifting too far off course. Remember that rebalancing isn't just about the numbers. It's also an opportunity to reassess your financial goals and risk tolerance. If your circumstances or objectives have changed, your portfolio might need to be adjusted accordingly. Regular monitoring is equally important. Stay informed about market trends, economic indicators, and any changes in your investment's performance. This proactive approach can help you make informed decisions about when and how to rebalance. As you navigate the process of rebalancing and monitoring, keep in mind that the ultimate goal is to maintain a well-diversified portfolio that aligns with your long-term financial objectives. In the next section, we'll walk through a case study that demonstrates how you can apply these diversification principles in a real-world scenario. Let's put all this knowledge into action with a practical case study. Imagine you're a new investor with a moderate risk tolerance and a long-term investment horizon. You're aiming for a diversified portfolio that balances growth potential with stability. Here's how you might approach building your portfolio. First, you decide on an asset allocation of 60% stocks and 40% bonds. Within the stock portion, you diversify across different sectors such as technology, healthcare, and consumer goods. For the bond portion, you consider both government bonds and corporate bonds to further reduce risk. You also implement geographic diversification by investing in both domestic and international stocks. This way, you're not solely reliant on the performance of a single market. To maintain this allocation, you commit to regular monitoring and rebalancing. As the markets shift over time, you'll adjust your investments to ensure that they align with your initial strategy. This practice helps you stay on track with your long-term financial goals. This case study illustrates how the principles of diversification can be applied in a real-world context. By understanding your risk tolerance, setting clear asset allocation goals, and regularly rebalancing, you're well on your way to mastering investment diversification. As we conclude this video on mastering investment diversification, I hope you now have a solid understanding of why diversification is crucial and how to build a diverse investment portfolio. Remember that investing is a journey and diversification is your compass that guides you through the highs and lows of the market. Whether you're just starting your investment journey or looking to enhance your existing portfolio, the principles of diversification remain timeless. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. Stay tuned for more insightful content on investment, finance, and wealth building. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on our future videos. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for joining me today. Keep diversifying, keep learning, and keep investing wisely.
Until next time, take care and happy investing.